welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I do self-love, body positive, and hauls here on my channel. If you like that kind of content, then don't forget to hit that subscribe. Hit that bell notification button to be notified of all my future videos so you don't miss So a today thing. we are going into my Monday motivation and I hope this finds you well. Um, it is something that I wanted to do and I have been thinking about this whole weekend, this whole journey, and I kind of want to open up to you guys about why I decided to do the self-love journey, um, what it means to me to be body positive, and what are the habits that I'm going to be doing from the this Monday motivational video so you guys see my good days, my bad days. I will be filming every single bit of it for you um, here on my channel. So if you guys want to know more about me and more about my self-love body positive journey and what I'm going to be doing about it, then just keep on watching. So I want to start from the beginning. Let me get my water. It says, it says more weekends, please. <laughs> But we are going to be going into the juicy why I became body positive and why I am on this self-love journey. So the beginning of my channel two years ago, I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I knew I was plus sized in the sense that I was a 1X and it's no secret now that I have passed, surpassed my 1X um, size and now I am a 2x going on to 3x but the size is not what matters because I have been getting a lot of I've been doing a lot of work on the inside these past two years the reason why I want to address my self-love journey because I have stated that this self-love journey I've been complaining and working hard about my weight ever since I was little. You guys know that. You guys know some of the other juicier, if you guys want to see those videos, I will have them linked here and here if you guys want to um, deep dive into my depression and, and um, see the reasons why I chose that path for myself. Now, I want to I want to share a story with you guys. Um, it's one of many. So so the reason why I started this self-love journey and this body positive movement for myself, not for anybody else, not for any other people but myself was because I was in the health I'm I am in in the healthcare industry. I understand that being in the health world, some people may say just because you're in the health world you need to look a certain way, which is not the case. I know people in the medical field that are twice my size and was twice my size then never was told the things that I was told by a doctor and mind you this doctor he has his PhD you have to have a college degree to give this give advice to people you know and I understand that I may have looked healthy or am unhealthy on the scale per se okay it's it's not a secret I am a bigger lady but at the time I was probably 160 170 at most and he had stated you would look prettier if you would just lose weight Yes, uh, you heard me correctly. He said I would look prettier if I would have just lost weight. 
I was going to my, I mean, this is a physical, so this is a, a doctor that I went to, to, for my pre-screen for this job that I was doing. And he had the audacity to tell me that I would look prettier if I would lost weight. Now, had he switched it up and said, you know, you're going into a, you know, a, a, a career that you're going to be lifting people, you're going to be on your feet all day, you might want to have some healthy habits. Okay, I, I'll listen to you at that point. But what does my beauty have to do anything with the job entailed or with me in general? There's nothing about me that you should be looking at me that I, 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 oh, it's so, it gets me heated till this day, but I'm trying to hold my composure and there is no reason for a doctor to even, there's no, there's none. There's no reason for a doctor to compliment you on how pretty you are or how how appealing you look to that other person, um, especially in a career choice or anything like that. They shouldn't judge you on your weight. And I think that was wrong of him and it hurt me. It hurt me for a long time. I am married to my husband and we just was getting married at the time. Um, our wedding, I think, was two, two or a year away and he stated that to me. Um, and I couldn't believe that I was going into a health field, healthcare field, that people were judging you on how healthy you were by how much you weighed. I disagree with that because there are bigger women, bigger men than me that can care and do a CNA and do nursing, all that, way better than anybody that I've ever seen in my life. And that's not okay. I, I honestly don't think it's right. So this is my time that I want to take back and take a step back and say that I did let myself go because of it shouldn't matter how pretty I am or how beautiful I am to not shouldn't matter any of that what whatever size I am at because I'm beautiful and I am pretty all on its own by myself my inside is beautiful my personality and who I am is beautiful so now that I have that straight in my mind and I see the beauty that I have gained through this you know, mental journey, I want to tie in a healthy lifestyle. Now, it's not for everyone. If you don't think that, you know, if you are fine and good with what you look like and how you are and you have self-love and body positive for your own self, for your own clarity and your own mind, then that's enough you know um but i wanted to incorporate you know healthy habits that i can do that are not pertained to the scale so i may lose weight i may not lose weight and it doesn't matter because as long as i know i'm doing everything i can to stay healthy um then that's what i'm gonna do so this is not a diet this is not me going keto this is not me um, telling you how to eat or anything like that. It is based off of good habits. That means that number one, I will be writing down 
I usually use an app. It's the Grateful app. Um, I'll have that in the description down below. It is an app where I can write out what I'm happy for and what I'm grateful for for the day. I've been slacking on this, but I will getting I'll will be getting this back, um, and you guys will see that because it's going to be vlog style from here on out. I will be doing the healthy steps and then sharing a story with you guys like I did here today. Um, two mirror work. So you're gonna say what you are grateful for or what body part you love once you say that out loud you will on on uh those body part days so if you are if you are um if you know about like uh leg day and arm day and all those things um if you if you're comfortable with that kind of working out um moving forward so if say if on a monday i say I am loving my legs. I will do um, that Monday. I will do a leg day. Then the next day I will do cardio. The next day I will say what body part I love, which would be like if if I did leg day on Monday, I would have to say like my arms I love my arms then I'll have to do upper arm workout lifting all that on the next day and then I'll do cardio and then Saturday is a yoga and meditation so I want to take time to meditate and do all that so if you want to follow me on this journey um, so you'll know what days I will be or what um, body part I'll be working on because of the day or what I'll be saying what I'm loving that day on that Monday now if you want me to do all the days that I am doing like all in one um, video or maybe I could split it up on Monday and Wednesday because my schedule for the working out part portion of this is Monday Wednesday Friday but by Friday, I have fashion hauls and all that stuff. So I'm going to um, not do that. But I can have it all on Monday and Wednesday. But if you want to follow me, I will definitely be saying what body part I love on Monday, next Monday. So, um, so if you want to know more about it or anything like that, um, I don't know. I, I'm still working out the the um the program in my head because i do use youtube as a outlet of working out so i will have a playlist of the workouts that i'll be doing for the week so if you want in on that playlist then let me know in the comments down below or email me them um email me if you want to know the playlist of what I'll be working out um, that way we can hold each other accountable if you are you know coming along with me on this journey so that's the second second thing so we're doing mirror work so it's two things you were doing mirror work but then also we're following it up with a workout that works out the body part we love so we love it enough to be healthy in that aspect we we love each other. we love that body part enough to give it some love and um i've always been i have been um caught red-handed to to me doing a workout because i want to punish myself because oh i ate a twinkie that day so i'm gonna work harder or i you know had a cheat day i'm gonna work harder no it's nothing like that I'm not putting myself on a restricted diet. I am just going to be eating healthier. So I used to, I have a, I have really, really bad bulimia and body dysmorphia. So for me getting on a healthy mentality, I need to have six meals a day, six healthy meals a day. And if I cheat or if I want to think about let's say I have there's a Twix I'm not gonna 
you know, stop myself from having that Twix. But if it makes me feel bad in my head that I had that Twix, or if it makes me feel bad it, to eat it, um, to eat it, then I'm not going to eat it. Um, instead, you'll have like a granola bar or um, make your own granola bars or whatever the case may be that has similar effects to like for me I love I love daily harvest smoothies so I'll have a smoothie in instead of that Twix or that Snickers or whatever so um so that's the healthy mentality the healthy eating habits is that I'm not gonna punish myself for eating bad that day or whatever the case may be we all have off days and as long as we get back on the healthy wagon so as long as we are still holding each other accountable about like you know healthy eating and we are still you know doing what we need to do then i don't see the reason the reason why we shouldn't be able to get to a healthier us so being healthy has nothing to do with weight. I don't want to incorporate my the scale because of the fact that there has been times where I would be like, well, I had I had a piece of bread that day, so that should be good for the rest of the day. That is not healthy because you could gain more weight for eating less or eat not eating your caloric calories for the day like you could be so deprived of food that your body will hold on to your body fat and I've been to I've been there before where I weighed on the scale did everything I could weighed again on the scale next day and I was five pounds more heavier than the, the last time I weighed myself and it sucked it sucked so much because I was then questioning what was wrong with me why did I put on five more pounds I don't want to have to think like that anymore I just want to be healthy in my body that I'm in and if I'm giving the love that I'm giving myself and you know if that day a cardio day is just walking around the block or you know um sidestepping in my room or dancing when nobody's looking then that's okay like um that's all that matters like that you are happy on the inside and I want you guys to feel that journey and fuel that journey because you have only one body you only have one life to live and if that makes you happy then th by all means do you just be happy in your own skin be happy what you have now so that you could be happy in all areas of your life so when somebody tells you that you're not good enough you don't care because they don't matter because all that matters is you and what you're thinking and that's what I want to give back to you guys that I want you guys to see my ups and my downs so those are the three habits that I have for you guys. If you want me to do what I eat in a day, we could do what I eat, what I eat in a day Wednesday. Um, I still don't know what I want to do for Wednesday. So if you guys want me to do what I eat in a day on Wednesdays, then I can show you guys what I'll be eating if I had a cheat day um, and all that stuff. So I'm not restricting my diet at any, any cost. I'm not taking away like I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like this is a diet no this is a lifestyle change if I'm looking for alternatives to the foods that I love and that's the mindset that we're switching here and I hope you guys are along with this ride because I am getting down and dirty and doing all the things and making good habits for myself because loving yourself you only have one life to live that's all i gotta say um i've talked way too long here on my channel this is i have this is like insane like i 
I'm super excited about this whole new routine and I just I'm like I have more stories to tell you guys um, I want to motivate you and lift you guys up so much more than I that I can I appreciate every single one of you guys and um, yeah so you guys are amazing and you guys are everything to me and yourself and do yourself a favor and start being sweet and staying sweet, you guys. Staying super sweet is my mantra. And that's because you have to be confident and kind. You definitely have to be kind to yourself. And if you can be kind to yourself, you can be kind to others. And that's all I want is for you guys to um, be supportive and um learn something and i hope you guys did and i'll see you guys in my next video i will be doing a haul on i on macy's um so i have a macy's haul for you guys um on friday so you guys will see what i got okay i'll see you guys later i'll see you guys in my next video like always stay super sweet please <music>